how does your back position affect your riding? So that might seem like a little bit of a strange question, but it actually has a lot to do with how stable you are, how secure you are, and how confident you feel when you're riding. So in today's video, I'm just going to give you a few tips for how to improve the way that you um, use your back when you're riding. And I think you'll really notice a difference both in your stability and potentially even in the way that your horse moves as well. So I'm Callie, this is CRK Training. This is my weekly video show where we talk about riding tips, training tips, and horse care advice. And let's just jump right into it. So I'm sitting on the exercise ball here because we're going to be um, using this to look at how we move affects the horse. And it's really easy to see on the exercise ball. Plus, this is something really simple for you to try at home. In fact, if you're feeling really ambitious and you have one of these in your home, you can pause this video, run and sit on it, and um, go along with me as I'm explaining how to bring a little bit more awareness to your back position. So I'm just going to turn so that you can see me a little more clearly. And we're going to first start by going through kind of the different ways that we can hold our back. So one of the most common ones for riders is actually arching or hollowing the back. So a lot of times we are taught to go into this position or we end up there a little bit accidentally by maybe trying to pull our shoulders back. But this is an arched or a hollow position. It's where the back is um, tighter and is more forward. This would be a rounded back. So again, you can see that I'm round from my lower all the way to my upper back. And this would be a flat back. So if we think about how we want the horse to move, and we kind of correlate that with the movement of the ball. So in most gates, unless we're asking for a backup, we always want our horse to be moving kind of forward and up. Even if we're asking for a backup, we want that motion to have an up feeling because we want them to be lifting their back. So if I'm sitting on this ball and I adjust the position of my back, you can notice what it does to the ball and just try to think about that, how that's affecting the saddle that's sitting on the horse and then how that movement is gonna be affecting the horse's back. So first, if I hollow or arch my back, notice how the ball is sent a little bit back. So if I was thinking about asking my horse to step forward, and I tried to do so by leaning forward, which will put a, a hollow in my back, notice how the ball actually went back. Now, if I try to really, what sometimes people think of as sitting deep, or I try to really lean back and sit down into the saddle, notice how that time the ball went forward, but it also kind of squished down a little bit. So now if I have a flat back and I think about moving forward, now I can actually move forward more from my hips and I can get that forward and that up movement. So what I would like to challenge you to do is to experiment a little bit with um, changing the way that you hold your back. So just notice, do you tend to ride more of this arch position? Do you tend to over round? Or do you look for that nice flat place where your upper body, your rib cage is stacked over your hips, your back is flat, and that's where you're gonna be most stable. If you want to learn more and get some more tips about um, kind of overall body position, check out my Seven Days to Better Riding course. It's free and it's just a series of short videos that will expand on what we talked about here. And I'll show you a little bit more about how to breathe to get this posture and also how to kind of take this idea of stability and um, test it on your horse. But for now, I would love if you could just leave me a comment and tell me which position do you tend to spend more time in? And, um, and also, I would love for you to take this and practice a little bit on, if you have access to one of these exercise balls, they're a really good tool for kind of playing with a sitting posture and playing with a lot of the things that we actually use in our riding skills. So thank you for watching. If you're seeing this anywhere besides crktrainingblog.com, go there, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you again soon for my next video.